two-hour presentation of Vinny. The truck, or a tow vehicle, Franny. Oh, and uh, this is our token bumper. TV is here as well. It's on a pivot and you have a shower on the side. All of the underbed storage. So there you have our little inside. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Hi, love. Annie. So today. Today is, is shakedown day. Shakedown day. We are. Uh, we've got a Vinny hooked up. You can kind of see him through the back window there. <laughs> <laughs> the first time he's been attached to the truck since we brought him home last fall. So. Yeah, so we got to make sure everything is, you know. We're going to take them out for the day and, uh, you know, make sure everything works. Yeah, everything. like the chains and the hitch and yep. the brakes and. Yep, hitch set up and then we'll do yeah. a system check inside, make sure everything's working and yep. see everything that we've got in there so far is traveling. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, I don't know, take the day and. Have, play with the toys. Play with the toys, yeah. And take a little trip and who knows where it's going to take us. Yep. Get a little bit of road footage maybe. Yep. We might even, we might, might, might even get a little tour of any in for you. The one we were supposed to have done. Yeah, but we were so clear eyed yeah. that, that that just didn't happen when we picked them so up. So that this would be an opportune time yeah. if, it, if, if it transpires. <laughs> so anyway. So yeah, the uh, right. weather's a little sketchy today. So we're hoping that we get some peaks of sunshine and uh, the rain holds off. It's spitting at the moment, but yep. what the heck? What the heck? We're all good. We're all good. So off we go. Let's do this. Here we are, sun's out, view of the lake in the back. We just thought we'd uh, come down here and uh, do our presentation of Vinny. Here you go, Vinny is our Vista Cruiser, our new one. I'm gonna do the outside and then Janet's gonna do the inside here in a little while. Won't take too long. Anyway, Vinny here has a welded, square tube aluminum skeletal structure with as dealt composite walls and Vinny has a one piece fiberglass roof that goes all the way up and over down the back down to the bumper it's all one piece so there's no seams which is really nice as you can see Vinny has a relatively low profile which really aids in the wind reduction and less drag and gives him real good road manners. Coming down here, he really rides really well. As you can see between the truck or a tow vehicle, Franny and Vinny, we've got a real nice profile, aerodynamic profile, which really aids in the reduction of wind resistance. Moving along, we have two 20 pound propane tanks. We have a power jack. And of course we have all our hookups of the sway bars and the anti-sway chains. And here we have our 12 volt 27 series interstate battery. Then he's got a couple of docking lights at night, which um, I hope I really don't have to use in the evenings. As we come around here, we have a solar port putting your, your portable solar panel to help charge. Now, next we have our storage compartment. It's quite large, and then there is a light in there. If I can find a switch here. Oh, there we go, blue light. Now, I already have some of my stuff in there. Now, this is a pass-through storage. Let me turn the light out. It's quite large here, it's a little narrow on the other side, but it's the only storage Vinny has, but we find there's plenty. Now, it comes with slam lock doors, really nice, or door, <laughs> it's only one door. Now, moving along, we have a 12 foot, or is it 11 foot, I think it's about 11 foot. It's a carefree awning, it's called a what? A uh, compass awning. Now it's power, and it also has an LED light strip up in, inside there. Here we have our two outside speakers. Again, also blue lights in there if we need them for mood lighting at night. Over here we have our television mount. You can take the television off 
in the inside with the mount and slide it in here, plug it in, and you got your cable if you don't have a smart TV. Now, moving along, fridge vent. Got dirty coming down here. So, we have Kendall Lodestar, nice trailer tires, 14 inch. I always pump these puppies up to max before you leave, max cold. Here we have our, oh, they're dirty. We have a friction lock door, friction lock, friction hinge, pardon me. And we have our one piece steps. They actually came with Vinny and we weren't sure if we were gonna like them because we never had them. But the more we use them, the more we like them. They are seriously stable. They are adjustable in case you're on even ground. Now, when you're ready to travel, the door needs to be open. They go in, they latch, close the door, Bob's your uncle. Now, of course, it comes with four stabilizer jacks. Scissor jacks go down. Now, around the back here, you'll notice we already have our sticker on there. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> now, it is a Gulfstream product, which is, which is a good, nice company. Here we have a very dirty back Vinny because it was raining when we came down here. So what can I say? <laughs> it's pretty wired for a Furion or any, basically a Furion, but you can get Furion um, adaptable rear view cameras. And other than that, that's about it down here. But you can see it's an all one piece roof. Comes all the way down to here. All right. Oh, and um, this is our token bumper. <laughs> There ain't much there. <laughs> Don't run into that. It's bent. But uh, we're just kind of getting used to not having a spare tire on the back. You know, at first we thought it was a little bit strange. Anyway, as we come around here, we have our Dometic furnace. We have satellite and we have cable hookups. And we have our 30 amp power outlet. Again, here we have our vent for the hood inside, the range hood. A Dometic, again, furnace. I don't know what I mean. It's, it's really nicely, you know, molded down here, all the way around. Now here we have our dumping valves, if you will. We have a sewer and a waste. Now the, the valves go into one outlet. So you should always dump your sewage first and then you waste. Here we have a spray port. City water connection and black tank rents. And I mean, they're, they're, they're very um, well labeled. You know? Or if you want, you could paint this red or something. You know, so, you know. Anyway, here we have our fresh tank fill and the tank is on the inside under the bed I guess it, along with uh, I guess Janet will tell you along with the spare tires up under the bed too anyway here is our other side of the pass through storage it's a little narrower so again slam lock doors and that's about it. I mean, he's very well built, relatively light, or I mean, really light. So, and he, like I said, he's got really good road manners. He handles beautifully. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably do the inside. Okay, let's go see, come on in. Here we are. So Frank's kind of already gone over the steps. So we've covered them with carpeting so we can kind of wipe our feet as we go in. We always have mats, but it always is helpful. Now, one of the things I need to notice to mention is the door. The last unit that we had, it was such a pain to get the door closed. It was always a slam bam, kind of make sure it was locked. But this one, two fingers, man. Really like that. All right, wipe your feet, please. <laughs> So as you come in the door, the first thing you'll have is your panel. So this is your main lights for the coach, um, water heater, the um, 
all the exterior lights for the speakers and the awning and all that, your, your awning out and in. And if we had a slide, that control is here as well. So, but we don't, so all good. TV is here as well. It's on a pivot and, you know, swing. So it doesn't matter if you're sitting here or if you want to swing it around if you're back in the bedroom. Although there is a mount in the bedroom as well. So one of the things we liked about Vinny, he is a 19 ERD, by the way, which means rear dinette, big dinette, and the wraparound windows, which we really, really liked. So it's very bright, it's very spacious. We've got lots of room here on the table for, for working. If we've got the computer of a laptop out, nice. Uh, we've done a couple of things as far as mods. One of them is we've done a little shoe thing here at the bottom of the dinette so that when you come in, you know, we can put the shoes away. They don't have to be, you know, cluttered on the floor. There's no carpeting in Vinny. He's all paneling, or paneling, um, vinyl plank floor. <laughs> um, two overhead compartments above the dinette, which are really spacious, um, like really deep. Oh, we got a little, we have a little um, disorganization because of the, the trip down, but lots of room for pots and pans, toaster, kettle, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, see then that one I've got lots of stuff in. This, this one will be mostly pantry when we get food stuffs and stuff going. So lots of room here. Standard stereo, CD player, um, Bluetooth connect connectivity. It's got an HDMI cable connection as well. Um, and you can pop a memory card in or a USB card in there as well. Okay, kitchen. Standard stuff, microwave, three burner, um, gas cooktop, cast iron, really nice. And this unit has an oven. Um, this has a nice big stainless steel farm style sink, which is nice. We have three drawers, cutlery, um, you know, your hand towels and all that kind of stuff. Lots of room. Has the oven. Everything's got the blue lights. So kind of uh, looking forward to giving that a go. And um, yeah, there's lots of lighting in the unit. Um, overhead and <laughs> the blue light thing again. I, I don't know what that is all about, but whatever. Um, we put the um, netting here for the cutting boards and stuff to keep them up off the counter. And what? We've got <laughs> electrical plugs under here, USB plugs under here. Okay, turn that off. Now, big spacious cabinet overhead. I didn't know that, I didn't think this was going to be enough, but there is plenty of room for us um, once I get it organized. So we're still kind of in that process. Like I say, this is Vinny's little shakedown. So this was more about making sure that everything worked. Big double door fridge. I've never had a double door fridge before. So we have a big freezer compartment and the refrigerator compartment. So that's going to make a huge difference when we're out and about. Beautiful. Okay, microwave. It's small, but I mean, and it has a it has a quirk. Anyway, we'll get the door open. There it is. It has a bit of a quirk with the latch. We're still trying to figure that out. But um, last unit was a convection microwave. This is just a microwave because we have the oven. So, um, and that's fine. All good. Okay. Then we'll make our way down into the back side of the coach. Now, as we come through to the back end of the coach, we come through to the bathroom area. So. We have shower on this side, and then on this side is the toilet and vanity. And this door opens up. You can latch it open, and it becomes kind of a, a dress, makes it kind of a dressing area. So the front part of the coach can still be in use while someone's doing their thing and making themselves beautiful back here. Um, shower's got vinyl curtain, and it's spacious. We've got lots of lots of uh, elbow room. Frank and I are both tall, uh, over six foot, so um, plenty of room here. Bathroom's pretty standard stuff. We've got the toilet, we have an overhead vanity cabinet, and the sink. Lots of room. Cabinet underneath the sink has got a little bit of space, but that's pretty much where the plumbing and, and whatnot is. So not a whole lot of space. And then as we come to the back, 
this obviously is where the queen bed is. Again, a first for us. We've never had um, a queen bed. The last couple of units that we've had have had twin beds, with, which we have enjoyed. But we'll see what this is like. It's, it's a short queen, so we'll see how that works for us tall folks. But um, it's, it's all good. We have two hanging closets either side of the bed. And again, nice big overhead cabinets, two of them. Uh, more than enough space for us. And of course, all of the under bed storage, once again. I mean, we have a ton of storage down here. This is, as Frank mentioned, the, the water tank in the unit. And then underneath the, um, the totes down there is the spare tire. So it stays inside out of the weather and the elements and whatnot. Um, and then lots of, lots of storage. Again, more shoe storage here. We've added that. So there you have our little inside tour of our new Vinny. Vista Cruiser 19 ERD. We're really looking forward to getting them out this year. So um, I think for now, we're going to make a cup of coffee and have a muffin and uh, try out the dinette. Right then. Right then. I'd say our little shakedown cruise was a whopping success. Yes, it, uh, everything went really well. Everything's worked really well. We. Uh... Benny sure follows nicely. <laughs> oh yeah. He goes where he's told. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he goes where he's told. But really, it's... Uh, Almost didn't feel like he was back there. Yeah, no, really, uh, yeah, really pleased with that. Yeah. So uh, we thought we'd, on our way home, stop at one of our favorite places at yeah. Bliss Bakery. Bakery in a uh, little peach land here. Yeah, we always usually stop here by the we do because right by the lake. Right by the lake. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway. We'll have a bit of lunch. Looks like the dinette's going to work out just fine. <laughs> And, and uh, we both can sit here. We can both sit on one side, which is nice. Yeah. So, hey, you know what? If you liked our little video, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and sit the, hit that subscribe button. Remember, subscribing is always free. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, remember subscribing is always free, and we'll see you next month. Thanks again for watching.